Hi, this is a demo for a JVC dual cassette deck, model number TDW106. I will show you the back side here first. Just to... Here is the model number and the serial number for reference. Not too easy to read that serial number, but it is there. Um, your typical input and output lines here, left and right, and it's got your power cord coming out, pretty standard fare. I'm not sure when this was made, but I think it was from the 90s. And this unit is working fine now. I had to replace two out of the four belts because they had turned to mush and just got all loose. So the rewind and fast forward would not work. But the new belts in there, it's working pretty well, no problems. And just go over a few things here. The power button is a your standard click. You got your power indicators here. And for recording purposes, you can set to get your signal from the input from the back, from the line input. Um, and then you can set it to dub from tape to tape. Uh, it, it basically goes, this is playback only, and then this is your playback and record deck. So it'll record A to B. And your you can do it at high speed or regular speed here, which is kind of cool. And then you got your tape selection for the, uh, the type of tape material it is. And there's your input level. This, this actually um, only adjusts the record level for when you are recording from the line in. So if you're recording tape to tape, this does not adjust. Well, I noticed in my test, this does not adjust the level, the record level to this deck. So I, I think that's just, I don't know if that's standard on these decks or not, but that's how this one operated. So, and then you got your Dolby noise reduction here, real simple on off, definitely is working fine. You've got uh, your your standard mechanical tape counter there, and I'll show you inside. There's your A. And here are the heads on the B. And yeah, I'm gonna just put a tape in here. We're gonna put our plate only this one. And here's our test record on the B side. We're gonna rewind. It does have auto stop too. Um, so when it gets to the end, when it's rewinding, it, it does stop. So these are both fully rewound. So I'm gonna show you here that this is does play. Power up my amplifier here. Sorry about the delay. There we go. Hmm. 
that's just my son practicing the guitar. And so I want to show you here that the rewind is all working. Fast forward works. Obviously play works. And then the same with this one. Fast forward. Rewind. It's all working and then play. too much of that otherwise I'll get a copyright strike so one thing I noticed that that you know these there's a lot of mechanics that go on here with these buttons and you know to press play you really do have to press down with some pressure but I mean it, it works fine it's just it takes a take some take some pressure to make these work um, yeah and if you want to record you know from this deck to this deck um, and you can kind of synchronize them together somewhat. It's kind of rudimentary the way it works, but what you can do is you can press this pause and then hit record. And then you can hit play and then it will start the recording process. So right now it's just in pause. As I press play, you see the pause released. And now we're seeing the meters move. And you'll see, I can move this around and it doesn't... See, it's all the way up. Oh yeah, maybe it does. I think I was wrong on the level for this. We'll turn the audio up a little bit. Oh, I see. Ah, yeah, so I'm recording from the line. So, I did not have this set to record from here to here. I actually had it just set to record from the line. So that's why I can adjust the level up and down. Now I want to switch this over to normal, which is now it's recording from here to here. And you can see I can turn this up and down, and it doesn't really change the level of the meters much. Let's see? So, yeah, so this only adjusts the level for the line input. Now, if we're recording from here to here, and I can put this in high speed mode, dubbing. And now, you'll see they're moving much faster. And if we listen to the sound, the audio. So, it's kind of funny how it sounds, but. So it does do high speed dubbing as well. So I'm gonna hit stop. Stop and then rewind here. So now, when I hit play, we're going to hear some of that piano practice that I have here. I just have this plugged in on one of the inputs in the, in the back, so and it's just my son playing his piano. I'll turn that up. And that's me adjusting the levels up and down. And at some point here, I'm going to switch over to these. To this one, which is a Neil Diamond over onto this. Once I figured it out. Mm, 
some point here it'll switch over. But this, no, this unit works fine. It's, uh, I'm sure it's not a super audio file high, high quality, but, um, but functionally it's, it's fine. If you need a basic cassette deck and, you know, this one's definitely more of an, on the affordable side, this would probably be a good deck for you. Made by GBC. So, yeah, now that's playing Neil Diamond. So, so yeah, both of these, uh, both decks are working. It records fine, plays back fine. All the other functions are working. Nice basic deck for somebody that just needs something simple to operate. And that's all I had. Thank you for viewing.